what are the wins? I mean, you haven't had a game like Saturday <laughs> really all year. What are the other than Lincoln? Yes. What what did that do for the for this team? Just, psychologically and everything else. Hopefully just gave us a boost to, you know, seeing, you know, when we play well, you know, and when we play physical and, and we do everything together that, you know, great things can happen. I mean, Northeastern, you know, they're still a pretty good football team, you know, and, you know, Lincoln was as well. And then you've seen, you've seen against Carney in the, in the fourth quarter. When we put it all together, we're a pretty good football team. Um, and, and we're still pretty young, you know, as well. But hopefully they just gave them a little bit of confidence. Um, hopefully they didn't give us an ego and, and, and you know, make us think that we're better than what we are, that we still have to work, you know, day in and day out to be great. And uh, But this is a tough game we got coming up this week, you know, uh, against Pittsburgh, uh, a tough team. So hopefully our kids will get locked in, um, focused, and, and still look at the things that they got to do to get better, you know, as an individual and as a team. And, uh, you know, I want to talk to the kids about, you know, you always watch the plays that you make, you know, and, and yeah, we expect you to make those plays, but think about the ones that you didn't make and how those kind of hurt us, you know, throughout this entire year. And then we got to start making those plays. And if we make those plays, you know, we, this, whole te- this whole season might be a different story for us. You know, they've done a good job. You know, they, they, you know, it's, it was hard to that COVID year, you know, especially just, you know, thinking that was your, your last year to play football and, and it didn't happen. And, you know, that, that's hard to kind of come to, you know, senses with sometimes with, with those kids. But, uh, you know, I think just them going through that whole entire year of not having it. Um, and then, you know, a lot of them graduated and, you know, coming back, do I come back or do I not come back? And and they did. You know, most of them did come back. And, you know, I thought they did a good job. You know, I, I still think there's things that we could have done better as a team. Uh, but I, I thought as a whole, you know, I appreciate all they've done for us the last, you know, I guess with them it's almost six years, you know, and, and instead of five. But, you know, they, they did work hard. They did do some great things while they were here. They, they won a lot of ball games. And all those guys were all conference players as well. And, uh, you know, they, they you know, did get some wins. And they were part of some conference championships as well, so I just, I just want to thank them for all they've done for us. One game left. Has any, anything changed in your approach and how you go about this week, or is it just like business as usual? It's business as usual, you know. We just you got it's going to be one of those things. I got to make sure they do everything perfect this week, whether it's you know study hall, whether it's you know going to class, um, weights, um, you know getting their film hours in, and you know and, and really staying on them and practicing, and making sure they're staying focused and locked in, and you know because it's been a long time since you know Fort Hayes has not had a winning season, and uh, you know that's at stake right now. You know we're sitting here five and five, and we need this win, you know to be six and five, and I believe that'll give us you know eight seven seven eight seasons in a row you know of a winning season and and we need that and we need that to go into the next year and uh, and to build off that going into the next year as well so you know we're going to be hard on them this week in practice um, we're going to make sure they're doing things the right way we're not going to let them be lazy i'm um, not going to let them go through the motions um some of them might not like us so much for that but you know that's who we are as coaches you know we want to win every single game and we want to compete in every single game and we got to make sure our kids are doing things right to make sure that that happens how important a win, a winning season, and just getting that win in the last game going into the offseason. How much difference does that actually make? It's huge, you know, because it's, you know, if you have that bad taste in your mouth, you just kind of go into that, you know, spring, you know, whether it's lifting or, and sometimes that's good as well, you know, but just having that confidence that, hey, we can get this done, we just beat one of the better teams in the conference. If we just put everything together, you know, we could have sit here at, you know, eight and three or heck, nine and two, ten and one, who knows, you know, with this group of guys, uh, what they could have done, you know, if things have just been a little bit different and, and reflecting on, you know, the things that we didn't do well and, and, and make those better. But, you know, a win's huge for us, you know, just to kind of keep that winning streak alive. Um, showing then, you know, seeing the games that we did lose and, and, and building off of those of what we could have done better, you know, as a team. Um, but we do need it. Um, I think these kids need it. And, uh, you know, if, if we don't, which I hope doesn't happen to us, you know, we're going to use this as motivation of, you know, how we got to do things better and, and change the standard around here of, of expectations of what we truly expect. Um, maybe I relax a little bit. Maybe that's, you know, a lot of this is on me just because I feel like we're at a point now where I should have to get on these kids constantly for everything. But, you know, so I got to go back and look at myself as a coach and see what I can do better to make sure that this doesn't happen again. In some ways, the census is the, the last game. Can I just go out and play football? I mean, you don't have to worry about the next game and forget about what has happened at this point. Just go out there and play. 
Yeah, and play hard for these seniors. You know, this is, you know, we talk about a game is about three hours long. You know, when you when you look at it, probably doesn't really last that long, you know, most of these games. But, you know, we, I told these seniors and, and, the, and the group around them that, you know, we have, they have three hours left of football in their entire life. Um, why not lay it on the line for those next three hours, you know, for these guys? But it's going to come down to what we do this week in practice is how you're going to play on Saturday. You know, if you're lazy and you think the win's just going to happen, it's not going to work. But if you go out and grind and, and, and work hard and compete, you know, you got a great opportunity to get this win. And, uh, you know, hopefully they do that this week. But it's it's important. It's important for these seniors. It's important for our program to go out and get this W. So it's, they, they need to make sure they, they strap it on this week in practice and get after it. What kind of challenges uh, does Pittsburgh State present, especially with them coming off a tough loss? Just, you know, it, it kind of broke their playoff, you know, hopes. Um, I mean, I think, believe they're still in the rankings a little bit, but it kind of broke that for them. Um, they're probably looking at a bowl game, but, you know, they're going to want to come in here and beat us. I mean, that's just the way it is. You know, offensively, they really control the clock very well. Um, they've got some great run game. they got some big offensive linemen up front that, that control the line of scrimmage. Um, you know, they throw the ball very well with some play action things and, and getting the ball deep and getting some big plays. And then defensively, just the looks they give you. You know, every game's been a little bit different. You know, against Washburn, they played a lot of cover one. You know, against uh, Northwest, they played a lot of cover three and a lot of cover four. You know, so it's just a mixture of what are we going to get this week, you know, from Pitt. So we got to, we got to prepare our kids, you know, for everything possible. And uh, so I think that, that's probably the biggest thing. And then their special teams are really good. You know, the things that they do special teams-wise is – it gives you some trouble, you know, especially with their kickoff and the way they kind of do things on kickoff um, with the, the switching of guys from one lane to another. Um, so they present a lot of, you know, problems for us that we just have to really get our kids to focus in on and lock in on and and do what our, and find out what our kids do best, you know, in practice and, and build off of that. But, you know, they're, they're physical. You know, they, they, they do play a very physical football game, and uh, that's something we really haven't done a lot this year is, is handle the physicality well, but hopefully this week we do. It's just a big change. You know, we used to get a lot of man from them anyway, and we pretty much knew how to attack it, you know, with the way they were doing things because you played them for so long with the way they did it. Um, then offensively, you know, they're going to be more of a run team than anything else. And, you know, with the new coaching staff coming in, they've changed a lot of things of the, of the way they, you know, play offensively with, you know, the play actions and, you know, just regular drop back passes and, and the run game. And, you know, add different personnel, which, you know, when you played them before, you probably pretty much getting, you know, 12 or, or 13 personnel. Or now it's, you know, 10, 11, 12, you know, tons of personnel. And then defensively, you know, as, as much as they move these guys around, you know, sometimes there'll be just two defensive linemen on the field. Uh, sometimes there'll be four. Sometimes there'll be three. You know, just all the different things, all the different looks that they give you um, and, and packages that, that, that really kind of – make you look, okay, what can we do? I mean, you don't want to get too difficult uh, with some of the stuff you do because then you just get your kids lost and, and they don't do their job. So, and just a lot of problems that way just because, you know, we don't know exactly what we're going to get coming in. Um, yes, we have a lot of film on them, but each week it looks a little bit different. So, uh, you know, it seems like with us, teams always change, you know, when they play us and, and then we have to figure that out and our kids are going to adjust as we tell them what's happening to them. Uh, your thoughts on uh, chance breaking the career uh, passing record uh, at the school, knowing that you have to have receivers catch it and blockers to block for it. What, what does that all mean, the big scheme of thing, him being able to accomplish that? It's awesome, but chance is chance. You know, he doesn't even – he probably didn't even know he broke the record. You know, knowing him, he just wants to go out there and win ball games and compete. Um, that's probably not even the back of his mind. He's just out there to, to make sure that he he's at his best for his team. Um, and it's good when you have a kid like that, you know, a true leader uh, like that, that the records don't really mean much. It's about the team and what the team does, you know, in that season. And, you know, it's cool for him. Um, Jacob Mazzara sent him a, a tweet congratulating him on it, which was really cool, I thought, as well. And that just shows you the kind of kid that, that Jake was um, and, and still is. 
and uh, he's getting ready to be a father as well, which is cool to hear, you know, and just having those relationships. It's just cool to have those, still have those relationships with those kids that were here, you know, and they're still excited. Even though their record got broken, they're still excited, you know, for those guys to do those things. But that's Chance and to, to a T, though. He doesn't really look at those things, but as a coach, it's awesome. And our goal as a coaches is, is for each year that we break that record and keep breaking that record. And uh, now we got to find the next quarterback when Chance is done in a year to, to go break his record. So it just always puts those things in, in, in light and, and, and the kids that are playing below him, you know, whether you know it's our backup quarterback now or, or, or kid that we bring in in the future, what are you going to do? Are you going to try to break his records or are you, you going to be satisfied with, with not? So it's that competition part of it that, that, is, that is huge and uh, that's how we get kids here and, and see if they want to compete or not. I felt like he just was relaxed and playing Saturday. Has he changed since the beginning of the year when it felt like he had the weight of the world on his shoulders? I think so. Sometimes, you know, it's – you know, your junior year, everybody's expecting a whole lot out of you, and, and sometimes that pressure gets to you a little bit, but I think he's handled it pretty well. Um, you know, early in the year, he was kind of doing some things that was not chance, um, and, and he's fixed those things. But that's that's him being coachable and, and listening and understanding and, you know, trying to improve his team. And, and by improving his team, he's he has to get better. And, you know, he's done those things. And now we just got to get the guys around him doing the same things that he does. You know, he's he puts a lot of time in. He puts a lot of effort in. He practices hard every single day. You know, and you know, he works hard in the weight room, but he's just he's one of those kids that does everything right to make sure that, you know, he's ready on Saturday. If we can get everybody to be like Chance and then do the same things, you know, we could be really good. But some guys just haven't put as much, um, you know, that much of time in as he has. And uh, so, you know, so you do, there is more pressure and it does get frustrating as a quarterback when a receiver doesn't catch a ball or, you know, you're not protected well, you know, constantly. But those and he understands that there's going to be pressure on him. He understands that receivers are going to drop balls. But just the frustrating things if guys not running the right route or, get to the proper depth or whatever those things are what frustrating as a quarterback that, that that need to be fixed you know you'll you will finish either six and five or five or six not the season the type of season that the program wants uh, do you have a uh, self-assessment in the off season of like what can we do to make sure this doesn't happen again or how do you approach that yeah, you do. You know, we look at every single kid and, and, and kind of what they bring to the table. Um, as coaches, we got to look at ourselves and see what we can do better. I think i got a tremendous coaching staff. Um, I think they all do a very good job, whether it's recruiting or whether it's coaching their kids and, and preparing them. Um, but it's also assessing the kid and, and, and looking at each kid, you know, differently. And, and what does that kid bring to the table and what has that kid done? Um, is he doing the things that we're asking him to do? You know, are we asking you to put on weight? Are you putting on weight? Um, we're asking you to get stronger. Are you getting stronger? We're asking you to change your body. Are you doing those things that we're asking you to do, or is it not that important to you? And, uh, you know, if they don't want to do the things we ask them to do, then obviously it's not important to them to, to, to continue winning, you know, ball games and, and, and making sure this program is going in the right direction. So then we don't need you. And uh, so th that's going to be the assessment that we have. You know, some kids will probably be reduced a little bit with scholarship and some will be increased. You know, it's just it's, it's if this is part of the job and it's part of the business. You know, you got to do your part or, or things could happen. And, uh, you know, I think our kids work pretty hard, uh, but I still think they can give more. And so uh, what I tell them every day is your, everything you do is being evaluated, whether it's the classroom, whether it's the weight room, whether it's your film study, whether it's what you do in practice. I mean, everything's evaluated. And so the at the end of each year, we'll, we'll talk to you about your evaluation and where we think you're at and the things that you got to improve. And if there, we don't see a change or, or see the improvements, then maybe we need to go separate ways. So, you know, every kid will be talked to by their position coach. And, you know, then some kids will have discussions with me as well. So uh, it's just figuring out what we need to do to make sure that this doesn't happen, uh, making sure that they're doing, they're putting in the time, they're truly bought in, you know, to what we're doing, and, and they're doing the things that we ask. You know, if you can't do the things that we ask, then, then maybe you don't need to be here. Is there a number one thing that you think you want to address, or is it a cumulative uh, or is there anything that stands out? I think it's just, you know, we talk about how great we want to be, you know, and every kid talks about how great they want to be. And as coaches, we talk about how great you want, we want to be. But what are we truly doing to be great? You know, you have to do extra. You know, you have to do more, you know, than your opponent. I mean, you got to put in the time and you got to put in the effort and you have to truly sacrifice. And, you know, that's the one thing we're going to be looking for. Do these kids truly sacrifice? know their 
their social media time, their, their, you know, just their time with their friends and, and time with their girlfriends and or whatever it might be to, to truly to truly win. And uh, that's, that's, that's what we're looking for is guys that are truly bought into what we're doing are going to do everything they can to make sure that this team is successful and, and to make sure that, that they are successful as well. And, uh, you know, and that's what we're that's what we're going to look for and, and see what we got. You know, we'll, we'll test them this spring, you know, and we're going to put them through some drills and, and do some different practices and things like that, that that really test the kids and their mentality to see if they're truly bought in or not. And uh, those are the kids we want, the kids that are truly bought in to, to, to what we're doing and want to make sure that this doesn't happen.